No, this is not makeup related at all. But where the heck am I? Gosh, I feel like I'm in the Redwoods or something. Hi everyone, I'm on my way to the Lesher Center of the Arts in Walnut Creek. I'm going to be working with Festival Opera on their production of Susanna. This is my second day with this company and I'm really excited. I've been hired to assist in the hair and makeup department. I'm helping with wig prep and eyeliner and eyebrows and whatnot. Last night I stayed in Oakland with a girlfriend because driving back and forth over the bridge and paying bridge toll is kind of a drag. The East Bay is a different world for me. So thank goodness for Waze because it always takes me the best route. No, this is not a sponsored video. I just really like Waze. 1.3 miles. Turn right to a 580 East. Irony, because I was talking about, I was talking about how much I love the app Waze. Well, somehow Waze started taking me home. I swear I clicked the address I went to yesterday, but somehow I'm on 880 South to San Jose and I'm like, what's happening? When am I getting on to 24? Maybe I should just double check to make sure I'm going to the right place. And guess what? Oh, I was not. Ugh. And now it's taking me a much more complicated route than it did yesterday. I'm so confused. Oh boy. Okay. So let's talk. So far, most of my videos have been more educational. How to apply theater makeup in different situations and I still have plenty more ideas of things to teach you. So the videos will keep coming. Yesterday, I recorded Denise, the other makeup artist I'm working with. She showed me her makeup kit. So you should definitely check out that video if you're curious about what products professional theater actors use. But this video is gonna be more of a vlog. So I hope you enjoy it. You've arrived at your destination. Okay, I just parked in the parking garage. It is 5.13, call time's at six, so I have enough time to grab food, thank goodness. And this is a great, safe parking structure, and it only cost me $5, which in San Francisco, it's like 25. So this is awesome. <laughs> I stole some wine, that's why the police was oh. there. And it was it was quite dramatic. <laughs> oh dear. But I guess he he searched him and they he didn't have it on him. So he... you Thank you. Wee, I'm so official. Within the Lesher Center, there are actually three different theaters, and backstage there are monitors for each of the three stages. So three different productions could technically be going on at the same time. Here is the Hoffman Theater where Susanna will be performed. And here is a view of the audience from the actor's perspective. I know some of you have never experienced this, and it's a pretty incredible feeling to look out to 500 or so seats. As I turn the camera, you'll see into the wings where the crew hangs out, and off to the side here, is where Denise and I will be applying makeup to the performers. Would you like to introduce yourself? Um, hi, I'm Mark Faringer. I am the stage director for Festival Opera's production of Susanna. Wonderful. And I'm standing here with the makeup fabulous ladies. <laughs> makeup and wigs. I tried to get them to fix me up, but eh, no deal. Kind of took a look at me. I was like, you know, a baseball hat and sunglasses might be the thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> Go sit in the house. I think we should let the world out there know that you and I have had a very interesting discussion. Not the last couple of days, but... Are we he, talking he about knows, how you're wrong about he knows Star Trek wrong. and Star Wars? Star Trek, see, he doesn't even know how to, you know. How to say it. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll hide his body in the parking lot. We, we, we can't all have good taste. So. No, it's true, it's true, that's why. Keep That's, working, you'll be alright. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't He's, like Star Wars The Last Jedi. We're in, a, we're in opposing views. Good. I want to say H38 does the best work I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. And I mean that. My name tag does say H38. It does say H38. It, it sounds read. like a droid. It does sound like a droid. <laughs> Tell us your name. <laughs> I'm Kristen. Have you worked with this company before? Uh, sort of. Last year I was a cover for the uh, Tosca segment. Is the cover the same as like an understudy or a string? Yeah. Is that what they call it in opera? Yeah. Oh cool. A whole new vocabulary. All right, well I'll see you in the makeup chair. All right. <laughs> Brand new bottle of Listerine. Gotta have good breath when you're working on people. Well, I'm mostly used to cryolon uh, 
Oh, you like nylon? Yeah. Well, that's, I don't know, that's just what, what I'm mostly used to. Yeah, yeah a lot yeah. of people use the aqua color. Yeah. Now it stays on really well, uh, but the the oil is also good. But then you need this this hydro this hydro oil to get it off. But that works really well. Also. Yeah, well, the hydro is good stuff. Mm -hmm. Unless you're allergic to chamomile. <laughs> oh, people, oh, what an odd allergy. Yeah. Susanna, give the camera a show over here. <laughs> Sorry, hey, I'm Danielle Marcel Bond, and I'm one of the singers in. Susanna at Festival Opera. Three of my characters in various operas have had pink hot shorts and I became known as pink hot shorts at the opera. Oh uh, that was at Long Beach Opera for quite a while after that. You still live in LA, is that right? Yeah. You flew up for this show? Yeah. Cool. Have yeah. you worked with this company before? Never and I love it and I'm so happy to be here. I am singing Sam, Susanna's brother, drunker, older brother. I really want to talk to Phil about his character because that's he always looks so focused. Oh, I don't look focused? You look focused too, don't worry. To sum up the plot of Susanna quickly, there's a girl, she's bathing, some elders from the church see her while they're looking for a baptismal site. They get aroused because they see a naked girl that makes them angry and they blame her for being a sinner and a reverend comes to pray for her soul and realizes she's home alone, so he rapes her. Day. That's okay. the basic plot. I uh, had a Susanna bathing moment actually yesterday. I, um, host family wasn't home, had a pool, just thought I would enjoy myself in the backyard, and um, the gardeners arrived. So there you go. Little Susanna moment was character, it was very method. So in the end, do you get killed or just. It's left to the audience's imagination. Okay. They're out to get him. If they find him, they're going to string him up. I think he gets back in the room. I would love to think that that happens. They reunite and then they run away and they leave the valley and they go to Asheville or something and, I don't know, open a pet shop. <laughs> I was listening to it with Mice and Men on the way up here, so, which is also Carlisle Floyd, so. Now I'm is thinking of, of rabbits and things. I don't know what they do, but I'd like to think that, but the show is already so sad. What is he doing to me? I don't know, I'm having trouble reading lips. I am Elizabeth Reeves. I'm the stage manager and Improp 2 props designer and wrangler. And I'm also in charge of set changes. Clipboard on a string? Yeah, this way you don't leave it on the set. Oh my gosh, I've never seen a clipboard on a string. Because I invented it. This is my life right now. Oh my goodness. I was asked about food prep for singing. And for me, what works best is an even combination of uh, simple proteins, like eggs or fish, a source of fat that's probably as simple as possible as well. So avocado is great. Uh, sometimes I'll do like a creme fraiche or cream cheese or something like that. And a complex carb. I like Ezekiel bread. I kind of live by it. It's the easiest to digest complex carb and it's a sprouted wheat bread. So it's actually gluten-free. I will do something like Ezekiel bread toast uh, with avocado, and uh, I know that makes me sound like a hipster that I'm saying avocado toast, but it really does work. Um, <laughs> and uh, Have you ever and done a, that with a couple of eggs. Egg on it? Yes, exactly. Oh, cool. And Thank a you. bunch of eggs. Mm. And uh, they did that one with Rod Gelfry. So this is a gorgeous lace front. Let's rock. Walk and whoa. Walk and whoa. The opera started, now it's time to go home. I'll be back again tomorrow night. It looks like so a Jackson Pollock painting <laughs> after the fact. <laughs> Do you have a dirty joke for us today? He has a dirty joke every day. Um, oh, please. That was my little teaser for the next video. I gave the camera to one of the funniest, goofiest, silliest, sci-fi nerdiest guys in the cast and he took the camera on a little tour around the theater and you get to watch me work a little bit. When it comes to the makeup I'm doing, it's nothing that extravagant. We're keeping it really natural, but you might have fun watching me work and the sort of conversations we like to have while in the makeup chair. There's a link to that video in the description below, as well as my other video backstage with Denise going through her makeup kit and learning more about theatrical makeup. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your support. If you're at all interested in hair, makeup, theater, opera, whatever, I've got your back. Thanks again. Bye.